Okay, uh, after spinning all day, putting the T2000 together and tuning it, tuning the steering, the throttle brake, <coughs> I still think I have brake issues, but I'll work those out. Uh, it's all together. Uh, now just a brief uh, overview, and then I'm going to turn this off and then put it all together and then go over to the uh, next door and uh, run it. Uh, but before I do that, so it's a cold, cold start. I did start it and run it last night while I was tuning it, but I didn't drive it. I just did it. It was a bench tune and run. Just a brief overview of the trucks. The 5B there. I'm going to make it a street 5B. It's going to be all street. Street tires, two speed, high speed gears, and see what I got out of that bad boy. Uh, I'm not going to go above a 30.5 cc stock motor. I should be able to get high speed uh, street out of a 30.5 cc motor uh, I'll go from there my son's finishing his T2000 uh, he's gonna put his aluminum front swing arms on and here they are here uh, unbreakable he'll never replace a swing arm on the front of that thing again he's having problems with the servos uh, and they're not King Motor servos so He's having issues with them. We don't. We one of them's FG, and another one I'm not sure where we got it. Uh, but that's his T2000, and uh, he he thinks the body is ugly, but uh, he likes the green and the orange. He just doesn't like all that other garbage on there. And he bought this. We got this from that guy, 500 bucks off uh, YouTube, and it's the wide body. I actually like the body. He he likes the body too. He just doesn't like all that advertisement the guy put on there. I mean, our opinion is if you're gonna, if you want us to advertise for you, you're gonna pay us or give us a discount on the product. There's his 5B. That is a killer, killer truck, man. And he's got that. He just got it from Dave's Discount Motors the other day. It's the dual bleed rear. See the dual bleeds there on the rear of the pipe. You can see from up here better. See the dual dual bleeds. One to the left, one to the right there. That's a Jet Pro. That's a fast pipe there. Of course, that's a fast motor. He's got the long rod. He's letting me have this pipe. It came off. It's a Jet Pro for the... This was a speed pipe, high RPM pipe, evidently. Uh, he's going to let me have that for my new short course. And I just got this. I traded swing arms for it. Uh, there's the box of swing arms right there getting ready to go out. There's my little work area. Man, I love this hobby. Uh coffee. I mean, my bikes and all that, that's, that's cool too. Always has been. It's my life. Uh, but this, I can do all of it from the workbench, man. I love it. Uh, internal combustion right there from the workbench. Here's my five, my short course, King Motors short course. I got to get some servos and all. I know what I got to do to it to make it uh, completely perfect. So keep your comments about King Motors to yourself. I mean, out of respect. I don't, I don't uh, talk about your stuff. I don't talk about mine. Uh, big run up about this guys uh, there's my King Motors T2000 there's the competitor right there that's the competitor man that's Mr. T from Rocky he came up to fight the champion and uh, while we're on that subject there's the champion right there there's the T2000 the, the 5 little C5 get rid of some of the sunlight maybe we can see that a little bit better on there there's my there's my champ, uh, and it's already got the O'Neill Brothers 8.2 horse Reed motor. That is one killer motor, man. Uh, and right now, honestly, I've just got it broke in, and it's all broke in from the garage. I never took it out to break it in. I want that motor treated right uh, on this thing. You know, on these uh, these Losies, man, they're all the hype. I just had the impression they were perfect, and you know what? They're not perfect. They're a the damn good truck, and they're probably the best truck out there right out of the box. They really, really are. But you can take some trucks, obviously, like I've done here, and turn them into a, those uh, high-quality competitors like I've done here with my T2000, my, my King Motors T2000. So right out of the box, these aren't perfect. I mean, I washed it off after breaking it in with the stock 26cc motor and then came back in the morning, and my wheel bearings were rusted, froze. I had to pull them all apart and soaked them in WD-40 and lubed them up, had to buy new wheel bearings and I've got the, the old rusted ones in there that I cleaned up good and we're going to see how they do but uh, the wheel bearings rusted on this thing man and this body pan 
it holds gravel, man. So if you got BB gravel, you need to protect your motor. This thing, man, if there's gravel, it lands in that damn thing. I'm going to have to invent some wheel wells for it. I know there's wheel wells on the market, but they're not for the 5T yet. So I'll make my own out of some the contour of a bleach bottle. I've already been looking at it is the right contour that I need or shape and uh, so is the uh, c plastic coffee can for Folgers coffee or the other coffee it, it's the same shape so I'll make some for now until they sell them professionally uh, and hell maybe mine will last uh, that's fine I actually have another body I bought a spare body with it uh, and then I've got a, I got all kinds of stuff man I, I have another body another Volkswagen body where there it is I actually have my Volkswagen body, which I like these Volkswagen bodies. Those those V-Dub bodies, I like those. And then I've got another one here. So, this thing is uh, it's ready to go too. I think I'll make that my nice looking one. But, here we go. So let me, so I'm just doing this cold, but like I said, I wanted to show you the thing. Uh... I want to start it up and let it run, and then I'll, and then I'll put it back here. Let me get it started. So hang on, guys. Okay, so I can talk off radio off. I'm figuring out these steering uh, <coughs> as it relates to the servos and all that also. So here's what I got, man. Here's the T2000. Look at this. All solid billet trannies. Two of them. So I've got solid billet trannies both front and rear see it in there it's in there solid billet trannies and I've got these are steel this is steel roll cage is steel I've got the dual shocks on the back I turned all my orange silver on the aluminum this is the O'Neill Brothers 5.5 uh, horsepower stroker motor with a high torque setup, this is uh, gears, high torque gears, uh, and this thing still goes 35 miles an hour with those gears, but it's got some power. I got the fancy billet aluminum uh, fuel line holder. I've got the Jet Pro side mount pipe that was pretty magic getting on there because they don't know about the King Motors. They build these for the 5T. That's fine. I got it set up right. I got good servos on it. I, I have a brand new front upper aluminum carrier and I got to figure out a way to double up on that thing I do have the additional support here I do have the old one that I got to figure out a way to I, I you know as long as I don't uh, run into trees going 40 miles an hour this is okay but I still want it stronger I don't know still want it stronger and I've got to talk to Al in Boston and see well Al in Boston and see about the kill switch on this thing, that remote kill switch. He's done that, and he believes in those. I'm going to talk to him about it. Uh, got my aluminum swing arms on this bad boy. Uh, I think I'll get the aluminum bumper, too. I'm not sure. But my son really believes in the plastic bumpers in the front because they, uh, they bend a lot more, and they, they're very forgiving, and they take a lot of that impact and absorb it. Uh, these front hubs, uh, I'm making them out of steel, again, like I've said. But I, uh, I'm also making a set out of billet machined aluminum. 
They won't look exactly the same as these, but they'll be the same size, same ID, same OD. They'll function the same. Uh, so, so there you have it, guys. There's my T2000. This sucker is uh, tight, man, and it is put together. I got the Proline wheels, obviously. This thing is put together, man. It is nice. This is one nice truck. King Motors T2000 four-wheel drive. Uh, and I'm about ready to take it outside and put my money where my mouth is and show you what these bad boys will do. I've had to completely go through some things, and yes, it needs the swing arms and the front hubs to be a competitor. And to be a competitor, I mean stay out there without braking. Because, you know, competitors are the size of the motor and the skill and the driver and all that, but uh, this has it. This King Motors truck has it. It's got the size of the motor. It will stay on that track, and its suspension is actually better than the 5Ts because it's got four-wheel four drive, the dual shocks, and it's, uh, it's a little heavier, so it rides lower, but it's got the power, man. This King Motors T2000 will tear ass, and I'm going to prove it to you in the next video. All right, man.